Today we're diving into the scariest horror games you've never played. We'll also be ranking the horror games by three main categories. Jump scare. <laughs> atmosphere. Alright, the door is locked. And storyline. On the first try, bro. Come huh? on, man. What the f The first game we found after doing some research is called The Backrooms 1988. We are rolling. Whoa! Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. So, there is the full game. I downloaded the demo, but I will be playing the full game in Hello? the near future. I just realized, too, it looks like they can hear us. But I don't have my mic on right now. I could definitely add to the overall fear factor, I would say. I made new friends. His name, I think, was Lee or Liam. I don't remember. I am playing at his house, but it's cold down here in the basement. I wonder when he let me go home. What the? All right, we got a flash a flashlight. I mean, the door is jammed. Move the barricades blocking the door in order to open. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of got me. I don't know why that shit was so loud. Oh, we got the crowbar. Nice. All right, so that's not the way. I'm not gonna lie, I am Hello? getting goosebumps right now. The atmosphere is pretty good. If you're looking for a game with a creepy ambiance the backroom game is always gonna deliver most definitely little tom's when he was younger with his favorite jacket after eating lunch so happy love you x all right turn that shit off yeah see what happens when you turn that shit on again oh i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding what the fuck was that? Guys, this isn't funny. I don't think it's your friends, bro. What the fuck? What is this? Uh, uh. <laughs> Strange fetus doll. Uh oh, it's a mannequin. Hear me out. Just squeeze into here, please. No one will let. What the f- Yo, are you guys seeing these shits? Okay, I think we're good. Who are you, the final boss? Oh, here's a key to the door, right? Bro, I guess she was the final boss. Did you? Alright, that got me. Holy shit, where am I? Please don't molest me. Please don't molest me. Please don't molest me. Oh my god. My ass. What the f- Alright, let's just ignore the haunted tricycle. I mean, I thought it was someone just standing there. Oh, there is someone just standing there. Yeah, keep running, little bitch. Finally made it. How? Hello? I miss you. I miss you. Don't make a sound. It can hear, but no eyes. Alright, so I think my mic being off is kind of cheating. Okay. Stepping on piles, glass, and garbage can make noise. You just evade them if you want to stay quiet. How how do I evade that? Maybe if I... <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? A creepy head. Drake? I see you. Leo? Anyone? I see you too. I surely hope there's nothing behind me. What the fuck? Is that something? Chill. 
chill, chill, chill. Wait, this is where we came from, right? Oh wait, no, this is different? <gasps> it's just loud. It just it's just overwhelmingly loud. I need to get out of here right now. Maybe stop shouting. This way looks new. Key, nice, nice. Guess let's go unlock it. Okay. So for the first category of jump scares, I think we can give it uh, eight. I feel like most of the jump scares, well, at least in the demo, was kind of carried just by how overwhelmingly loud the noise is. For atmosphere, we gotta give it a solid seven, seven and a half. Usually with backrooms games, the liminal spaces does create a sense of dread. So, I mean, it's it's a given. Like For story, um, I think rating this story would be unfair given this is a demo. I mean, there was little bits of story put in with the beginning and the little kid that was running around and the uh, drawing and we saw pictures of him. So yeah, I mean, I'd give it a six. At least that's the rating that I'll give for the demo of the story. But yeah, that was Backrooms 1998. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations. And yeah, that's it.